What's going on guys, it's Zach back with another video. In this video, I wanted to come and talk to you guys about really the only two things that you need to manifest anything. I'm making this video because I think a lot of people convolute the concept of manifestation and think that you have to follow a specific set of guidelines, like you have to visualize or you have to use affirmations, you have to get rid of your limiting beliefs, all this stuff. And I think that this video might help you to clear up what manifesting really is and why you don't need all of that stuff. Well, I think a lot of these mediums like visualization and scripting can be really helpful to help you kind of wire your subconscious mind and really believe what you're trying to manifest. I think that by simplifying the process, things get a lot easier. And that's what I'm trying to kind of do in this video is help you to simplify the overall process and really simplify the concept overall. I think I'm kind of driveling on here, but simplification, that's the point. So it's my belief that manifestation is really the process of conscious creation. In my belief, I assume that I am God and you are God. With that understanding, you can really create anything that you want. And so there's no limitations. All you really have to do is break through your own internal barriers of what you believe is possible, intend something to happen, and see it happen. Now, what really gets in the way are our own doubts, fears, and insecurities. And so what we're trying to do is really remove those things by consciously creating. Now, that said, I said at the beginning of this video that you don't have to um, you know, consciously remove limiting beliefs. I know a lot of people try to do shadow work and they try to do things like healing childhood trauma and all that stuff. And while I do think that stuff is extremely effective um, for bettering your quality of life overall, I think it is a limiting belief to think that you have to do those specific things in order to get what you want. So say, for example, you want to become a millionaire. Well, you have to go into your childhood traumas of you know lack of money or you know all of the experiences you've had with lack and heal those things first. Um, I think that that can be really effective, but that said, it's a limiting belief to think that you have to do those things first. I think one of the best ways that we can get over those things is to consciously create a new and show ourselves, really give ourselves that proof that this old programming that we have is not 100% accurate. So all of this being said, I'm, I'm trying to help you wrap your mind around the concept that there's all these different things that you can do to um, surpass your own internal blockages, but one of the best things that you can do is really to consciously create something that specifically negates those things. So if you have um, you know, trouble with relationships and you think that all relationships are really um, problematic, well, go out and create a very positive relationship, and that is direct proof to yourself that, hey, you know, this programming that I had, this idea that I had of what relationships are supposed to be like and need to be like is false. And I've seen it in, in absolute evidence with this really happy, really healthy relationship that I have. Now, here's where the caveat comes in, right? Because what could happen is you could create this relationship and at first it could be really, really positive and really, really healthy, but that wiring is still deep within your subconscious mind and you haven't continued to affirm what is already in front of you and you've allowed your mind to go back to these old programmings. And now, part of the reason that I've been making videos so much more regularly um, these days is because I realize that I'm still going on the journey and everybody is on the journey. And I had this idea in my mind that, well, you know, in order to create a successful YouTube channel, I was going to have to, you know, go in and heal all this stuff in my past and like create the perfect relationship and become a millionaire before I, you know, started making videos and talking about these concepts. But I figured, you know, part of the benefit of me being where I'm at as a 23 uh, year old guy, I said I was 24 in the last video. That's insane. I'm actually 23. I'm not 24. I think that making the videos before I'm, you know, at the ideal state of where I want to be and showing you guys my journey and my process of thought throughout the journey is extremely helpful because then people can look back once I'm at the state that I want to be at, you know, once I'm at, you know, a, a very high level of success and people can look back and say, here's how this guy was thinking. Here's the actions that he was taking onwards and et cetera. So, so anyway, don't convolute the process. Just remember that all you have to do are these two things in my opinion. So number one, what is number one? Well, you have to know what it is that you want. A lot of people go through life with this convoluted concept of you know happiness or abundance or whatever it is, but they don't have specific guidelines for what it is they they want. I don't think that that's necessarily a problem. If that's how you want to live your life, if you think that you know just going with the flow and letting things happen, but keeping that general state of being, whether it's um, you know financial stability or um, you know relationship positivity, whatever it is, you know that's okay. But I think it's a lot easier sometimes to prove these concepts to yourself if you have a very specific goal, be it a materialist goal, be it a conceptual goal, be you know internally with your character, um, something like that. 
Having very specific goals helps you to specifically materialize things and that helps you to specifically prove to yourself, hey, this is possible. So I think number one is, is know what you want. And again, that can be as ambiguous as feeling good or as specific as this particular car. But that's it. Just know what you want. Now, I think you can go a little bit deeper with this stuff and point out what you want in a lot of different areas and see your life start to majorly shift in a lot of different aspects. I think a lot of people will pick one thing, especially the, the, the SP thing. Like People will pick the specific person and they will go so hard with the specific person and neglect all of these other things. And they'll be like, oh, I'm starting to see synchronicities. I'm starting to see this and that. But if you were to be deliberate about all these other areas of your life, and I have a program that talks about all 12 areas of your life that sounds like something that's interesting to you very consciously creating your entire life dm me shoot me an email and we can talk about one-on-one -on -one coaching but that all said i think that if you become more specific about all areas of your life it helps you to let go of you know the one specific thing and, and start to see everything being created i know i'm going on a lot of tangents here and i'm trying not to but it's really tough but the bottom line here is is try to be more specific be um, direct with what you want and that will help you to actually create that specific thing. Don't go ambiguous. Don't have that confidence guys because if you're not confident enough to specifically name this is what I want, why would the why would the greater powers kind of bring it to you? Why would they say this person is deserving? This person has that strong will that they know that they're going to get this which leads me into step number two which is be intentional. I think a lot of people will say oh you know I want a Lamborghini. Oh I want you know a mansion on the side of the hills but they're just kind of like spouting they're just kind of joking they're they're not actually dead ass about these things right they they do want that and if somebody just hands them the keys to a brand new you know hillside mansion in LA or something they would be all yeah that's awesome but are they willing to be intentional about it are they willing to say i'm going to have this you know there's a big difference between saying yeah i want a lamborghini and i'm going to get a lamborghini or right or um you know the perfect relationship. Oh, I'm going to marry the woman of my dreams. Like, you know, like oh, I want to marry the woman of my dreams versus I am going to marry the woman of my dreams, right? Being intentional about things helps you to believe, to really say, you know, now I'm on the journey, right? Now I am willing to sacrifice things. Now I'm willing to take risks. Now I'm willing to really create situations in my life that show me more about myself, that give me that data to grow from, to then get closer to that goal. And especially in this community, you guys, like the LOA community can be so flaky. Like people really think that just sitting down and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking is going to make something happen. Well, the likelihood is that if you're watching videos on YouTube, you're not at that level where you can sit down and think something into existence. If you read the book, um, Autobiography of a Yogi by, um, I forget his name, but Yogananda basically, Yogananda says that you know, when he was traveling in um, the Himalayas and meeting all of these insane yogis and they were able to do things like fight tigers with their bare hands or make sense appear out of nowhere or literally split their bodies into multiple beings and walk around with clones. like. These things are possible and it's up to you to believe that anything is possible. However, it takes tremendous mental training and interaction with the outside world, with reality to show yourself because reality really is that mirror that's showing you to yourself. And so I think a lot of people have this idea that they're going to manifest a million dollars just by wanting it, wanting it and wanting it, but they're not even willing to take any actions. They're not willing to even go out and buy a lottery ticket, right? The simplest process that I can conceive of. The bottom line here is once you really cultivate that intention, that serious knowing that what you're what you want is going to come to you no matter what then you are willing to bring about the forces that will help you to get there it's the difference between willy-nilly writing something down and saying this thing is already mine to really knowing and it's there's no way for me to tell you how to really know. That's where the modalities of visualization, affirmation, revision, all these different things that help you to really embody that state come into play. With these things, we can you know, really convince ourselves that we are that identity of that person that already has what it is that we want. And thus, we embody that energy, we embody that frequency, and the vibration of the universe matches us and we will get to that point. And so it's really up to you. I'm gonna make videos in the future of how I do these kinds of things, but the bottom line is just setting that serious intention of this is already mine, this is coming to me, I'm gonna have this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera.
All right, you guys, well, I hope you found this video useful. Again, I'm gonna make videos in the future talking about things like visualization and affirmation, but in the meantime, all you need, know what you want, set a powerful intention to get there. If you guys need help with this stuff, you know where to reach me, drop a comment, shoot me an email, zach at veganstarfit.com, and I would love to chat with you guys. Otherwise, follow me on social media, I'll put my handles somewhere, and until then, subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell so you know when my videos come out, and I will talk to you guys later. Shh.